Mr. Jank Uger's recent appearances on The Hill. I smell the MSNBC on the internet, guys. I just had to come running. <laughs> exactly. And I want to take a look at a few different videos here and also show you guys the response that they've been getting. Um, but yeah, let's let's take a look. Uh, Mr. Jank was a uh, guest word on Rising um, two days in a row, seemingly. But yeah, let's take a quick look at this and then we'll react and, and show you guys some context and some of the reaction. Guest, executive producer and host of The Young Turks, Jank Uger is here to weigh in on the controversy. Welcome, sir. Uh, thank you, guys. Appreciate it. So tell us, what, what do you think about this controversy here? You know, Cenk, is this, uh, is this fight inside the family, so to speak, just being made a bigger thing than it actually is? Well, it is on purpose by Democratic leadership. And it's, um, as usual, one of the dumbest self-inflicted wounds I've ever seen. Um, so when they rebuke Ilhan Omar for absolutely no reason, uh, they gift wrap uh, this present for the Republicans. So now the Republicans get to turn around and call it not just Ilhan Omar, but the Democratic Party anti-Semitic based on and on American, as Kevin McCarthy did just yesterday, based on absolutely nothing. Well, what did Ilhan Omar actually say? She said, when we're brought up on war crimes, America, Israel, uh, in uh, in the International Criminal Court, as Taliban and Al-Qaeda is, the same rules should apply. And, and she's asking the Secretary of State, does that make sense? I mean, if we're to do war crimes, shouldn't the same rules apply? And by the way, it's not an if. Of course, we've done war crimes, and Israel has done many war crimes. So if you if people have the opinion of, well, uh, America and Israel. To the bus at the first opportunity in all other circumstances. You're our cherished, beloved colleagues. And then, unfortunately, some of the just Democrats have made the, the mistake of believing them. And then the minute they turn around after they get their votes, they punch them in the face. They're not your colleagues. They're not your friends. You guys, the, the reason why we started Just Democrats, and I'm one of the founders, is because we wanted uncorrupted representatives. So they don't take corporate PAC money. They don't take any corporate money at all. So th they are uncorrupted. That's why they're so strong. That's why they make bold stances. And and They're not strong, by the way. But yeah, uh, this goes on for a little bit. Um, it's whatever, you know, it's obviously not like he's just making complete dog shit points or whatever, but I think it's pretty interesting. The audience reaction to seeing Jank at this point, given what we now know, uh, given how he's conducted himself and all that. So let's take and, a look. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Was it? Oh, one more thing before we get off the track of the substance of what he was saying, she because said, you're right. Obviously we also defend Ilhan Omar. We, yeah. you know, I think it's ridiculous that the democratic party tried to condemn her, all that kind of shit. Right. Yeah. Of course. However, it's so fucking like he has, he's lost all of his credibility as he continues to go after Aaron Maté over Syria, com tries to smear this guy's name for no reason of uh, without evidence on a channel that he himself calls a news network. Okay, that refuses to run a retraction, that has this horseshit guy on, that doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about, to continue to spread propaganda to whatever fucking fledgling audience this guy has left on his network. And now he wants to come out and finger wag about how other, like, establishment Democrats are bad. You're a fucking establishment Democrat, Jank, so go fuck yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. And again, just to prove uh, the fact that people seemingly aren't too thrilled uh, by Jank or his commentary anymore, let's take a look at the Hill's viewership response to this clip and another. So here we see, this is the clip we were just watching. Jank Uger sounds off on establishment dims. Look at this brutal ratio. 390 likes to 747 dislikes. And all of the comments are just vicious. Someone says, they got rid of that awful host yesterday only to abuse us with this clown. I've never seen a faster fall from grace. Someone else says, they're literally telling us to unsubscribe right now. Crystal and Sager's new YouTube channel is called Breaking Point. So it's pretty obvious and uh, seemingly unanimous um, people's response here. Here's another one. Uh, Jank, why the fight for $15 matter? Look at that brutal ratio. 86 likes to 277 Only less dislikes. than 2,500 views, too. How, yeah, this one was from this morning. Yeah, but still, that's bad. Yeah, yeah. That's like worse um, than the Vanguard. And again, literally every single comment is unsubbed jank is a joke etc uh and actually this is funny someone comments imagine if tyt goes under and he becomes the new host of rising that's actually something i was kind of thinking <laughs> could be a possibility think about it look he's been on two days in a row now 
TYT is clearly flailing. The Hill is clearly in need of a new concept or new hosts. Uh, maybe it would be in the company's best interest for them to merge if the Hill acquired TYT and it became their new uh, like replacement for Rising. It seems like at this point it would only help both uh, both companies. Maybe. Yeah, that would that that would be hilarious <laughs> if that happens, but it would also be a death sentence for the Hill. That would never fucking. Uh, that would never, ever, ever help their ratings at all. But the thing is, the the executives at the Hill might be so dumb, so delusional, yeah. so fucking out of touch and cringy that they think that getting Jank, a guy who put together a, a, the TYT network back in the day, is actually worth putting in front of the camera and paying money to do so after he tanked his network that he built because everybody yeah. saw it, his fraudulence. And and the re and the another reason why I actually bring it up as a as something that could be possible is that it barely even really seems like TYT is trying to be that edgy or that progressive anymore. Um, if you look at their channel now, the videos on the TYT network that are actually getting serious views are either about Donald Trump and just you know kind of like fear mongering about is Trump coming back, et cetera, et cetera, or it's like Whoopi Goldberg destroys Meghan McCain in The View. Like, that's literally their bread and butter now. How could you uh, fucking care about that? Like, that's what I want to know. Who cares about well, that? I saw, the, Gavin, the, you watched a lot of TYT back I know. in the day. Well, the point I'm making is that the people that might care about that is at this point who's whoever is still watching The Hill, right? Like, you know what I'm saying? People that are of a, like, lower... Uh, uh, you know, they don't, they don't, are they're not as engaged with the actual the boomers who have policy. made it online? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. No, exactly. That's basically what I'm trying to say here. Uh, and... I don't know. I don't know. Maybe everybody we'll, yeah. who watches uh, ri the new Rising is doing so from an Internet Explorer browser. I guarantee you. <laughs> <laughs> Mozilla or whatever. Yeah. Or that. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, but I it, and also just as one more point as to why, you know, this might. I mean, again, who knows? It's all speculation. But clearly, Jank is not above, you know, getting in bed with, you know, big money he took a 20 million dollar cash infusion from um democratic party donor jeffrey katzenberg which he refers to as an investment um yeah so. <laughs> but yeah but and everybody's like you don't have the receipts for that i was like variety magazine wrote a celebratory article when jank was super jazzed to announce that he had 20 million bucks from jeffrey katzenberg's financial back like fine or uh i think it was a uh, what's it called um venture like venture yeah. capital firm yeah, yeah. exactly or, uh, hedge fund but, or something like that but again just to prove this uh point about how he feels about you know being part of a corporation versus being independent. I actually found this interesting clip from a TYT video from yesterday where they actually, interestingly enough, talked about uh, this recent Joe Rogan interview with Kyle and Crystal. So let's just take a look at this for a few minutes and then react, because I think you'll understand the point I'm getting at. It was important for Rogan to say that to an audience that has independents, libertarians, and right-wingers in it, Yes. right? Yep. And him for him to have, now this gets to the second point, for him to have the courage to call some Trump followers idiots, right? Now, knowing that he's got a right wing audience, why is he doing that and some others that are, including some that are pretending to be on the left, never criticize Trump, right? Because Rogan's already rich. Okay, I'm keeping it real and I'm not saying that as a criticism of him. Since he's already got all the money in the world, he doesn't have to kiss anyone's ass. Now, that doesn't mean that what he's saying is true. But it looks like what he's saying is honest, there's a difference, mm -hmm. right? He might genuinely not be correct about something, right? Mm -hmm. But it appears he's giving you his honest opinion, uh, right or wrong. And he gets to do that because he doesn't have to have a grift, right? Whereas a lot of people, whether they left TYT or any other work, out work, uh, network, they're out there in the wilderness. And they're like, oh, how do I get money? How do I get money? And they're looking for an angle, they're looking for a grift and a scam, etc. And the right. So yeah, basically, uh, this in is Jenks, the most projection I've ever seen. I know, in city. I know, and he's literally saying, if you're independent content creator, then you're just out there in the wilderness looking for a grift, uh, looking for money, scamming people. That's literally how Jank Uger views independent content creators that aren't attached to a network like his own or The Hill, for example. Uh, instead of realizing the obvious hypocrisy that no, if you're taking Democratic Party money, if you're cuddling up to corporate America and massive Democratic Party donors, then perhaps that's influencing your fucking project. Perhaps yeah, that's the grip. We don't have any money and we say whatever the fuck we want to.
Yeah, exactly. And we have the good money that you lovely people super chat us so that we yeah. can, you know, yeah. make our content as good as we can. And obviously we really appreciate it. But on a scale but, of like what these fuckers are talking about, like but, absolutely not. What's what is a grift taking twenty million dollars from Democratic Party donors or getting like a menial barely enough to get by from an audience, you know what I'm saying, that you're actually accountable yeah. to? Yeah. I, I think one of those is very clearly more so a grift than the other, which is literally just trying to survive and be honest about your opinions in the process. Yeah, a hundred percent. And you know what? We've people in our audience are are you? I mean, obviously there are trolls and whatever. But what one of the things that Gavin and I have learned doing this is that people just want you to be fucking honest with them, right? And they might disagree with you, and they might like fucking put hate in the comment section and whatever. But if you're a grown up and you're confident in what you believe, that shit doesn't bother you. And then, but for the most part, people will, will just be like, "I fucking disagree with you." They'll leave like a thoughtful comment if they leave a comment at all, and then they'll keep listening, and you'll have more conversations, and you you can have a robust, you know, kind of. Uh, thoughtful dialogue with these people mm -hmm. i'm not trying to you know see what our comment section likes i'm not trying to take you know popular opinions we've disagreed with people who uh you know frankly have a lot more power in this space than we do uh and we're gonna always do that if it, if we think it's correct we're not gonna you know yeah. uh ever pacify ourselves or change ourselves or anything it's like why would i have not just gotten a job at fucking you know some other worthless media yep. company where i was going to be pacified if i was going to pacify myself and do it independently like you know what i'm saying Exactly. Exactly. So yeah, I think it's just pretty interesting, pretty funny the way that Jank characterizes independent content creators just because he's personally salty at one of them right now who's who's doing better than his own multi million dollar infused network. Uh, so it's just pretty obvious where this guy's coming from. It's, it, his grift is tired. He's the one that's grifting. Let's be honest. Like, let's go back to the first oh, yes. vote for a minute. Like, of, if J if Jimmy had still been working at TYT when when Force the Vote happened, or if Jank had come up with the idea. You don't fucking tell me that the TYT wouldn't have been a hundred percent on board, bro. They would have been it, if Jimmy had still been part of the TYT network and he was crusading for force of the vote. It would have been Jing would have fucking seized on that moment. He would have jumped on it like a motherfucker. He would have been all over it, promoting it twenty four seven. Uh, as it was, it was the most transparent shit ever. That he 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 tried to he tried to go against it just because of a personal beef, just because of a you know he was salty about J uh, Jimmy doing better than him and getting more attention than him. It's so obvious where this guy comes from, how he operates, how his ego colors every decision he makes, and how honestly capitalism does too. And it's just it's oh, dude, tiresome. he's roveling for money. That's yeah. the most obvious takeaway that I had. Like the watching him talk about that shit, that is what he does. That's what he does. And he's projecting it onto everybody. He's being like, look at everybody. This is this is what they're doing. Yes, he constantly projects because he's so unself-aware, it seems. Like literally the most unself-aware person outside of like Donald Trump and like a handful of other like, you know, <laughs> world-renowned egotists. Okay. Yeah. This dude is really in a league of his own almost. Yeah. But he continues to go out there and project and say, anybody who actually is doing this independently is a fraud. Because that's how his twisted mind makes it okay for him to fucking take this horrendous money.